balls. Hello and welcome to episode 13 of the Clock Cleaners Podcast. I'm Matt. And I'm Keith. And today we're going to be talking about a lot of wrestling. Yeah. Or at least a lot of WWE programming. I don't know. Um, I don't know if we can really say a lot of wrestling happened. No. Oh, so I think it was last week during the Mae Young Classic. Uh huh. I think Michael Cole referred to Deanna Perrazzo as a wrestler. It was strange. Hearing those words come out of Michael Cole's mouth. Yeah, I'm surprised. I was like, Whoa. Well, I guess if Vince actually watched it, he probably would have. <laughs> what is him. this shit on my TV? Yeah, but uh, since since Vince obviously probably didn't really pay attention to any of it. Oh. And speaking of Vince, uh-huh. apparently he is the one in charge of Evolution. Wow. So that means Roman Reigns is going to end <laughs> up with a Roman <laughs> championship at the end of the night. So that picture. Was, no, he's got Ronda now. So I guess that's true. Yeah. But so <laughs> we uh, were both in agreement that Hell in a Cell was a very good pay per view, and then the main event oh, happened. The, yeah, the main event. And the funny thing is, it it could have gone exactly the same way with one small change, and it would have been fine. Well, yeah, that's true. We could have had a definitive yeah, finish. Yeah, just, just have Brock make it oh, so Roman wins. All right, so... They can both still be heaps laying on the ground. It's true. So now, the match was thrown out, right? Mm-hmm. Yes. No bell rang or Which anything like that. Which doesn't make any sense because... So shouldn't Braun somewhere. get the briefcase back? Because the match technically got thrown out. There's no... Clear um, winner, or I'm is gonna that just... go with no. Well, they didn't say Be- anything that wasn't brought up on Raw, so. Well, because the idea of the match getting thrown out means it is not exactly what it means. Yeah, I guess so. Because it's just ended. Yeah. So since the match started, and that's usually what they go by, like the well, teased... oh yeah, because the bell never rang when yeah, I was Braun gonna was say gonna the cash teased in. cash ins in the past. Right. If if they go to cash in, but the bell never rings to start the match then that's when they have the ability to hold on to the brief i gotcha um but yeah no i mean for the most part helena so exceeded expectations well all the matches were good Um, i even thought the women's raw title match was was, decent that was pretty good actually but a lot better than i thought it was yeah yeah that's what i expected um the daniel bryan miz that was not very good but only because the women were in the match yeah was not their fault one bit it was that finish was terrible yeah it was yeah it was really weird it was it was not good Mm -hmm. unfortunately they relied way too much on brie and maurice yeah um well maurice was kind of playing a little cat and mouse that's yeah but then when they actually got in the Mm -hmm. ring it was not good, mm-hmm. and I keep I kept thinking to myself, I was like, oh god, we're gonna get this match at Evolution, aren't we? Mm-hmm. No, it's not gonna happen. No. But no, um, uh, on SmackDown, Maurice uh, said that she will. This is going to be yes, her last yeah, yeah. SmackDown for a while. No, 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 I know, but I was just saying when I when oh when we were initially watching it when yeah, yeah Helena saw. I happening. don't I don't really see them being more than just like extras mm-hmm. at this point for moving forward. Because it doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Yeah. Like, this was, like, a nice, like, we got it out of the way kind well, of Well, I think with Maurice going off of TV, mm-hmm. um, and now you have Brie kind of in the whole thing with Raw, with the Riot Squad yeah, and I, things I, like that. I think that Brie is going to just be on Raw from, yeah, from here Yeah, probably. On it was just a one-time deal. Which is fine. Yeah. Um, I guess this was really just to tie up this loose end, real, if you think probably. about it. Because um, she wasn't on SmackDown this week. Yeah. Um, uh, so we just have one title change, right? Uh, yeah. The women's. Yes. Yeah, I the Royal. So. Win- I mean, the SmackDown Women's Champion mm-hmm. Becky. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You're right. Um. Um. I had predicted that Seth and Dean were going to win the tag team championships. Yeah. I was wrong. Yep. Uh, uh but, but no, I mean, it was fine. Just thought it was too early, but I mean. Oh, for the women. For the women's, yeah. Yeah. Although it kind of like continues just... Charlotte's, and I was thinking about this the other day. Mm. Like, I wonder what her total title reigns she's are. She's gonna have like fifty by the time she's no, retired. No, she has seven now. Yeah, I mean length. Oh, oh, length. like oh, days. Oh, yeah, because she like not const- as short as Sasha's. <laughs> well, her yeah, <laughs> but it's just funny because like with with a couple of exceptions. Like, she would win the title and then lose it right away, and then win it back and then yeah. lose it right away. Oh, yeah. Like, Sasha obviously did the same exact thing, right. but 
Charlotte's doing it with everybody now, apparently, not just yeah. with Charlotte. So you think the title's going to change hands more than once in this whole Becky Charlotte mm. feud? Mm. Do you think it's no. Just... no, I think I think honestly Becky might come out of this whole thing with the title. Yeah, it's going to kill Charlotte, but I think they're going to do it. Mm-hmm. Or or they really are Roman Reigns-ing Charlotte, and she's, she's going to gonna keep getting opportunity after yeah. opportunity. Yeah, so it's possible. So she'll lose at the Super Show. Or, Becky will retain at the Super Showdown, and that at Evolution they'll have a blow off. No, they at should have like an Iron Man match or something like that. Yeah, they'll add a stipulation hopefully. Iron Woman. Um, but this match, and obviously I know subjects are, or uh, cards are subject to change. Right. They announced this match for Starcade. Oh, did they? This mm-hmm. November. Mm-hmm. Mm. So I also well, they're think, not going to Saudi Arabia. So yeah, I don't think that that will be televised again probably not which is dumb i don't know why they wouldn't just tell it it is but let's be honest in the span of a month we're getting the super show evolution crown jewel Mm -hmm. roman's crown jewels yep um i don't know it just i feel like it would be cool for them to do that to televise Televise oh yeah yeah, no no no, i'm I'm fine with that novel idea yeah but again they announced this match Obviously, the blow-off, well, I guess maybe that could be a rematch. They're not getting dirty, dirty money, so they're not going to televise it. I guess that's true. <laughs> um, so, I don't remember when this was. This could have been last night on SmackDown. But uh, what were they originally shooting for, numbers-wise, in Australia? 100,000? I that think the... that's what they initially wanted. And then they wanted. said 60,000? They said 60 on Raw. It was, it was Raw, okay. Yeah. yeah. So, that dropped quite a bit. Yeah, it might have been 80. Maybe it was to yeah. start with, um, but yeah, they did say more than 60. sixty. Uh, to be fair, mm, that's a really a lot of people. Yeah, so it's it's not like it's especially when I mean I know that they don't go there very often. To but, Australia, yeah, they never go there. Yeah, well, they NXT was there a couple years ago, I think. Yeah, but my the, obviously okay, the yeah, point is right. they made a big stink about it because they right. don't actually go. But you're still getting so much content that it's not. Like, you know? Well, it depends on if uh, Australia has the WWE Network already. It's a good point, right? I assume they do. Well, but because obviously it's been around for like four years now. Um, But originally it was was, very restricted on the regions. So I don't know which countries still have it or don't have it. So I could I I could look it up. You could, but I would assume they do have it. I, I would as well. Mm-hmm. I'm just saying that if if they don't have it, obviously this would be very novel. Yeah. So, your thoughts on Raw? Raw was boring. Mm-hmm. Um, actually, there was a couple of highlights for me. Funny enough, one of them was something that normally I hate. Mm. I think that the pairing of Leo Rush and oh, Bobby fantastic. Lashley is awesome. It is. It was so good. That was one of because that was one of the parts that I fell asleep for. Because what I did was, I got home, I watched from seven to eight. I watched the Rangers mm-hmm. game preseason, mm-hmm. and then I watched the first hour of Raw. And I said, "This is boring. I'm going to flip back and forth." Uh-huh. And I turned on the Ranger game, watched it, went to turn back on Raw, and I fell asleep. And then woke up for Baron Corbin versus Roman Reigns. Yeah, that was. Uh, that was- that was something. Yeah. Um, uh, but yeah, the opening was pretty good, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, we got the announcement that they will be going back to Saudi Arabia. Yeah. Uh, triple threat match. Braun thinks the... everybody sucks now, mm-hmm. which was really funny. Which was getting a good crowd reaction, and then he said the audience sucks, or everybody yeah. here sucks. I don't think which... that matters, though. No, I, I know, but I feel, like, I feel like they have to put that one in there, yeah. too. Well, because they, they want him to be a heel. Oh yeah, if yeah, they're no, cheering for right. him being annoyed about everything. No, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Because um, I mean, when he said Corbin sucks, got a huge pop. Well, and of course, Rom- Roman sucks. I got a decent sized pop. Yeah. But I saw something interesting because we saw Dean and Drew, and I believe this is like Dean's second clean loss since like the brand split on TV. The clean. Yeah. Somebody I, I posted it, it on Reddit, and every, it makes everything sense. was like with uh, some sort of outside interference or nonsense like that. Mm. Um, but well, yeah. because well, a that happens so often on TV to begin with with the outside interference. Yeah, the idea of a um, clean win on a 
on a regular televised mm-hmm. TV match is kind of silly to begin with. I guess with. that's true. But so. I think WWE has a hard time of building storyline without having some sort of outside interference in matches to continue things. Mm-hmm. Not like they did, like almost like what they did with Rusev and Aiden English, which we'll get to when we get to SmackDown. Well, you had a clean win, right, coupled right. with. And I praise WWE for doing that correctly because it made of... the ma- You threw a random match in there, but it, it had a reason for happening because something happened after the match. Yeah. And, also, uh, it made sense for Rusev to be going for the U.S. title too. Yeah, sure. It's not like it was Rusev versus our um, truth a month ago. Mm. That's true. Yeah, you know I mean, yeah, because now that our truth is like the most over guy on SmackDown. Although An inventor. He, he wasn't on the uh, the show. It was funny they were doing some backstage thing last night after the mixed match challenge, and AJ. Uh, I guess he was talking about our truth because I don't know if they're facing them in their next matchup, but he said I've been wrestling our truth for eighteen years, and Charlotte was like I wasn't born, and AJ was like you're older than eighteen. It was, just, it was just funny. Yeah. But it's true. He did wrestle him in TNA back in uh, the early 2000s. You're not allowed to talk about that, though. I'm not allowed to? Uh, WWE's not allowed to talk about it. Yes, they are. It. I know, they do. They can. Uh, if they're going to meet with the executives for the company, it's they true. might as well talk about them it's on true. TV. But I have a feeling that has something to do with the Impact. It's the library. Hall of, no, it has something to do with the Hall of Fame, because Impact is doing running something bound for glory weekend. So they probably want Bobby Roode to come back or something like that, or AJ to be inducted in the Hall of Fame. Oh, wow. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. I mean, you got most, uh, you know, you have the Dudleys, Kurt Angle. <laughs> mm-hmm. Their Hall of Fame is not vast, right? No, no, no. No. Um, I'm gonna so guess did you Aus- find anything? I'm going to guess Australia is included, because mm-hmm. it says it's available through 186 it's out of 100. It's not available in Cuba. 193 Man. United Nations member states um well it doesn't you say that, that big map there oh yeah they are green there it is yeah okay that's fair all the way out there it's funny most of africa has it okay and most of the i can't it's not in. letting you click no it's not letting me zoom no. in. um but like none of china has it it's weird anyway sure. anyway yeah. i know that was not important but no it wasn't <laughs> let's continue all right so uh after that match, we had, uh, or after Dean lost finally, mm-hmm. I guess, um, <laughs> uh, they have a backstage segment where Corbin is talking to Dolph. Dolph clearly beaten up from his fall off of Hell in a Cell. Yeah, that was so unnecessary. I know. That's bad. Like, uh, how long was that? It was probably like five, ten minutes where your focus was on everybody outside of the cell. And Oh, you mean Roman during the main and event? Braun yeah. Had, were doing nothing. Mm-hmm. They and we never saw Drew and Dean ever come yeah, down. They they ended up like spending the night on top of the cell, <laughs> I guess. Um, but yeah, Dolph and Seth were obviously clearly very beaten up. Yeah. Um, and uh, so Dolph's like, oh no no no, uh, Corbin goes. I hear that you want a, a rematch. And Did uh, he get his rematch. Probably not. No. They, they've been doing the tag team did. stuff for. A or while. maybe it got thrown out and it didn't happen. Maybe. And whatever. Anyway. Yeah um Dolph goes oh I'm not really in any shape to compete well Corbin's like you didn't hear this from me but Seth's not here right now so if he doesn't show up I have to give you the title (laughs) Dolph's like oh that's a great idea then make the match yep and uh so we're gonna have the we also forgot to mention that Corbin would be facing Roman for the universal championship in the main event because Roman is clearly banged up yes which is always funny to hear yeah I mean Whatever. Still Roman. Whatever. It doesn't matter. He could have one arm tied behind his back. He'll still That's be true. Baron Corbin. Oh, duh. <laughs> uh, we learned that Kane will be in the Undertaker's corner mm-hmm. in Australia. And then I would assume that we will get that tag match in Saudi Arabia. Yeah, it would make it's sense. It's al- almost confirmed, pretty yeah. much. DX versus the Brothers of Destruction. Yeah. A.K.A. Old men grabbing each other. Twenty years later. Yeah. Whatever. Um. This match never happened. I don't think. Probably. It might have. Mm. It's Not hard even to, when it's, DX made like their fifty thousand reunions. Well, the problem is the fact that the Undertaker, the Brothers of the Destruction, were only a thing when the Undertaker was the biker guy. Yeah. 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 That's so, true. So, um, and when DX came back, it was like two thousand five, two thousand six. Undertaker was already the dead man again. Oh, okay. So, Fair and enough. 
predominantly on SmackDown, whereas Kane was predominantly on Raw. On Raw. Yeah. So, and obviously Triple H and Shawn Michaels also were. Mm-hmm. So there's a very good chance that a match with three out of the four happened on multiple occasions doesn't yeah, mean true. that this match has happened. Um, let's see. We have a very odd match of Bailey versus Dana Brooke. So I watched the Hulu version. Uh-huh. All we saw was Bailey and Sasha's entrance, and then they cut... With the, with the kids, right? Yes. Yep. And then they cut backstage to Rollins and Okay, makes Corbin. sense. Yep. So there was no match. I didn't get to see that. And I um, was like, okay. Honestly, I didn't think there was going to be a match either until mm-hmm. the commercial came back and Dana was in the ring with Bailey. Gotcha. So I honestly figured it was just going to be mm-hmm. that because they had a bunch of kids from Connor's Cure out on the yeah. stage. Um, and then we had an AOP squash match. Um, Drake Maverick looks silly still. Um, let's see. I, I mean... Yeah. yeah, it's just two very different roles having him play. And the fact that he's a tiny little itty-bitty guy that's being paired with... Because it's not... It'd be one thing if there was a contrast between the way that he dressed and the I way guess. that they dressed. Yeah, that's true. Because now he just looks ridiculous. Yeah. Whereas if he dressed like... He was like, like a tank top or something like that on Monday. Well, he was wearing a, a slightly less, um, I guess, toned up mm-hmm. version of what they've been wearing. I gotcha. So it's not so much that he's been... Um, it's not like he changed what he was wearing because of the uh, fan, I guess, criticism. He just toned it back a yeah, little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you're still wearing the suit, the suit, yeah, exactly. that would make, more, would sense. make more sense. Um, but whatever. Yeah, pretty much. Um, uh, we had Rhonda having uh, giving an open challenge. Um, it was funny. Natalia in the oh, night, yeah, she yeah. asked how it works. <laughs> Do I just go out there and be like, hey, any of you guys want to fight? Yep. Um, that was pretty bad. But yeah, she went in the ring, did her thing. Natalia came out. And, well, Natalia's music hit. I'm sorry. Go. She did come out, but she was dragged by the riot squad. Mm-hmm. Um, so Ruby then accepted her challenge, yes. and then no match happened because I was like, "Oh, I'd like to see Ruby Riot," and because I mean, I don't that, know that match will happen. Oh eventually, yeah, absolutely. But... Um, against Triple R. Yes, <laughs> I like it. I know I came up with it. I still like it. I know. Um, but yeah, it was funny because Ruby accepts the challenge, and then. Um, Sarah Logan goes in and starts attacking her. Yeah, it was, it was weird. Um, which bet, is what? funny because the Riot Squad end up getting the best of Ronda, and then that brings out the Bella Twins. Mm-hmm. And at this point, all six of them are in the the ring, and Michael Cole is like, oh, this match is going to happen at Aust- in Australia. And then after all that nonsense happens, then they announce the match. That it had been announced. It had been announced. It was okay. announced a while. That's ago. what I thought. It was. It was probably one of the earlier announcements. Okay. It was just a announced. stupid build. Up. He he just said that we'll see this match I at gotcha. Australia. I thought that was their build to the no. match. No, he didn't. He didn't spoil that it. That would have made sense. It would have how they it would have built up the match. Yeah. But so and and I was even thinking when it happened. I'm like, oh, I guess this is kind of some extra motivation for mm-hmm. the match actually happening, yeah. instead of going okay. We want Ronda in a match that's not a title match, and the Bellas are back, so we'll put them together, and we got to feed them to three people, or have them feed on three people. <laughs> Guess it. Um, and the Riot Squad's great for that. And yeah. That's just how that uh, that went. Yeah. Um, but no, hopefully, hopefully we get a good series of matches between Ronda and uh, Ruby Riot. That's wishful thinking. There. It is. I know. I, who do you think is actually going to be her next opponent? Nikki Bella. No, I mean besides her. Once that nonsense is over, mm-hmm. it's not gonna. Continue. It's not gonna go on. No, although Ronda's gonna hold the belt forever. I guess that's true. Because Vince is gonna be like, "See, Roman, this is what you were supposed to be." Yeah. Because what's gonna happen is um, the tag match will happen, and then Nikki's gonna turn on Ronda like the next, yeah, the next that Raw. Doesn't make sense. I know it doesn't. Because but it has to be. Unless it, the match doesn't happen. That would be the best case scenario. That is the best case scenario. Um, but that would be the only thing that makes sense. Nikki turns on her because she's, you know, it's, she's prone to doing that. Yeah, but yeah, I guess. And then after that match what happens, are we end up getting Bree and Nikki. <laughs> oh, as a as a match, yeah. it's possible. I wouldn't <laughs> wouldn't take it out of possibility. Oh, oh God. But whatever. Um, <laughs> uh, we got Elias coming out. 
Oh, and this then, was so good. And, and this time he wasn't like a an opening act. He actually was interrupted this yeah. time. But by Leo Rush. Yeah, because cool, he had a match with Lashley, right? That was made? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> it was pretty funny. Elias asked if anybody <laughs> lost their kid. <laughs> Which is fair. It was. Don't worry, I'll bring you upstairs to the lost and found yeah. and somebody can claim you. Yeah. Leo, without any hair, definitely makes him look a lot younger. Although he's very young to begin with. But Yeah. <laughs> it was pretty funny. But he can carry himself. He really can. And the fact that he can move on top mm-hmm. of it. Oh, so and then he, he, yeah, this but, match happened and he was on commentary. Mm-hmm. Uh, then all of a sudden, Owen's music comes out and he gets off of commentary. Yeah, I guess and, he was talking about Kevin Owens. Yeah, I guess so. I, I missed that. I don't know. I watched it on the YouTube highlights. Yeah. Um, so Owens chases him down the ring and then they the two of them go after Leo and the Bobby Lashley kind of just grabs, grabs him and, and pulls him, him into the ring. And then he throws him at the two of them. It was, was good. good. Yeah, it was a good pairing. Um, that when... Lashley went to jump off the top rope, and Elias caught him with that knee. That was a pretty nasty spot. Mm. Uh, but, I mean, yeah, no, I, I, I like this. The, the, the pairing? Pairing of Leo Rush and Bobby Lashley, Yeah, it makes sense. That means yeah. that Leo Rush would be in Australia in the corner. Mm, probably. Oh, yeah, for that tag match, right? Mm-hmm. That's so weird. Yeah, it's true. Was it Lashley and Cena versus Owens and... Elias? They might even back out Cena and just have it Leo Lashley Rush. and Leo, Leo Rush versus the two of them. I haven't heard much about Cena these days. <laughs> it's true. Except uh, he has a random post on Twitter, you know, that he does. You know, he's, uh, whatever. Anyway. Whatever. We got uh, Mickey James and Alicia Fox versus Ember Moon and the returning Nia Jax. Yes. If um, she could find a partner. Yep. It's mm-hmm. funny when they do that. Although I did have to think about it. And I'm like, who is she going to have as a partner? Yep. And then Nia came back. Yep. Um, and then, uh, obviously, Nia and Ember win because Mickey, James, and Alicia Fox aren't going to be winning any matches. Yeah. Like, is Alexa legitimately hurt, or is this story? She has on? to be because they took her out of the mix Mass Challenge. Yeah, I know. It's just, it's just weird. I agree, but there's no way they would have taken her out of the challenge. She could have had a fake injury on Raw. Yeah. Or, you know, they didn't even put an excuse to why she wasn't in a match. Yeah, I guess that makes sense because they did stick Braun with technically a face. I don't think that matters. No, I know, but generally, I think for the most part... Natalia's a face. Owens is a heel. Yeah, I guess that's true. Um, But Natalia was a part of the best faction ever. Charlotte's a heel. Charlotte's a face. Charlotte's a heel. (laughs) Um... Uh. And then the Usos are both, or the Usos and Naomi are both faces, mm-hmm. I guess, technically, right? Yeah. Which is weird. Why is that? Why are the Usos a face? I don't know. doesn't make any sense. I guess if you're not on TV, it really doesn't matter what you are. They're not on that stupid-ass makeup and face paint and all that garbage anymore. Get rid of that and cheer anybody. Yeah. I'm sure if we look <laughs> through the teams, we'll find yeah, more maybe. Mis- mis- maybe. mismatchings. Maybe. Um. Oh, yeah, then we had the main event, yeah. Corbin versus Reigns for the yeah. uh, Universal Championship. He he told the referee to make sure he calls it down, down the, the middle, middle, and the ref's like, okay. He's like, no, I mean, like, make sure you call it <laughs> evenly. <laughs> Even, right. He's like, all right. Like, he didn't have a clue what was what he was trying to do, which uh, is really funny. Corbin uh, hit a nice deep six on Reigns. Oh, he did, but yeah. that was a lot of Reigns' momentum. Because oh, he was yeah. going for the spear, and he just, like, carried him through Um, and then we had shenanigans as for usual yep corbin chucks a chair at roman reigns' head um and then he gets disqualified Mm -hmm. Uh, this is a no disqualification yeah corbin restarts the match obviously um and then braun comes out starts beating up roman um and then mcziggles come out so i just want to bring up this um so obviously corbin's done this Numerous times where he's restarted or restarted a match and things like that. Mm-hmm. Um, Impact did a Twitch show. I think no, it was a one night only show. Mm-hmm. But it, uh, Eli Drake was kind of like the host for it, mm-hmm. and he had a match against Eddie Edwards in the main event. And Edwards was bringing a kendo stick down. And he said, "You know, if you use that, you get disqualified." And then Edwards kept hitting him with an arm drag. And he's like, "If you use an arm drag again, you're getting disqualified." <laughs> and then at this point, Edwards slapped him on the ass, and he's like, "Ass slapping that gets you a disqualification." And, and he did this throughout the whole match until somebody in the crowd gave him a prosthetic leg, and he started beating him with it. It was great. But I wish Corbin did, you know, a little more than just once. Like I wish he was all in on it. 
I, but if he did it all the time, it would get he, a, How many times has he done it? No, I'm saying if he did it a in lot, a match, all the time. I guess. If he does yeah. it once, where. I guess so. The odds have been evened every time oh, yeah, he's yeah, done yeah. it. Right. So it's not like he needs to continuously do it. I guess that's fair. So. Um, but uh, but yeah, Roman obviously ends up winning with the spear. You mean Baron Corbin didn't walk out with the Universal I, Championship? I know, it's crazy. They should have done it. Yeah, obviously, it makes <laughs> sense. Then you can have Baron Corbin versus Braun Strowman <laughs> versus Brock Lesnar. Oh, have any idea how poorly that main event will be uh, received, especially considering that Braun probably wouldn't win it anyway? Yeah, I guess that's true. <laughs> um, oh. So... Uh, we kind of been trying to get uh, the Hell in a Cell stuff mixed in with our mm-hmm. talking Big about. Guess. I'm making a point here. Hold All on. right. Um, but Whoa. literally nothing happened on <laughs> Raw that had to do with Hell in a Cell. Well, that's why there was only three matches, right? Because yeah, we ha- we just had the, the tag title match, universal title match, and um, the women's match. Mm. We kind of talked about the women's match where Ronda destroyed Alexa. Yeah, kind of. yeah eventually well I we guess. i knew, we knew there was going to be shenanigans so yeah that wasn't a um, surprise and then the tag match where dolphin drew retained which was, that was a very a fantastic good match, match yeah. very good match um and then obviously roman versus braun ended in a little bit of controversy yeah but they were going on a good match before that mm-hmm. which you know isn't a surprise nope. because those two always seem to put on good matches yeah. together and then brock lesnar returns and then takes the broken table and proceeds to break uh, beat them up with the broken table <laughs> I, I thought something bad was going to happen when that leg, was, the leg of the table was oh, flapping around. Cut. I was like, oh, God, this is going to be Randy Orton all over someone's again. Someone's getting cut. Where Randy Orton decided to stick more stuff through Jeff Hardy's ear hole. Oh, yeah, gross. man. I was I was like, wow, they're really going all out with this match. Although, to as be fair... As long as Randy that... Orton didn't pull down his pants and try to stick anything else in his ear, we were good. Yeah, because like with the ear thing, I'm like, it looks disgusting, but it probably didn't hurt all that much. I don't know. Because... It's already stretched. Yeah. So basically, you're just doing this. Yeah. But it's easier. Yeah. But so it, it's a very gruesome image, but it it probably didn't feel as bad as you assume it would. Hey, they they did a good job making. Oh, it, it looked seem, yeah, it looked yeah. legitimate. That's for sure. And Jeff's a crazy son of a bitch as usual, which we expected. Yeah. Um. I guess since but since this, this really, Jeff wasn't on SmackDown. I guess no, we we're kind no, of. No, no, no. We'll we can just that. talk about the, yeah, but that match was pretty brutal. Well, um, the, the, the Hell in a Cell with the uh, like when Jeff started slapping Randy with his belt, mm-hmm. and I guess the spikes yep, from his belt cut him was, open. All little holes. Looks like he's getting an allergy test, yep. and uh, they went too deep. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, that was good. And then what was it? A, the chair that went into his leg? Oh, when he did the Swanton, the chair must have moved. Yeah, it must have rubbed it down like his ripped, leg and ripped, ripped the skin. Yeah. Oh, that was that was not a. Yeah. pretty spot so even though that jeff fell off the top of the cell technically yeah. randy probably left that mm-hmm. match worse for wear <laughs> when you think about it yeah um but it was definitely a good match mm-hmm. it, it lived up to what i'm sure jeff wanted yeah probably in terms yeah. of it was like, a good way to start the show mm-hmm. but and then they brought the women's title match after it which really uh I don't know. Got your mind off of the gruesomeness from uh, oh, absolutely. before because everybody was so into the match. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, the biggest problem, honestly, it's funny because I think that that match was probably the worst in terms of um, like the way they pulled off stuff. Which one? The women's match. What do you mean? That like just like the fluidness of everything. Oh, well, it wasn't meant to be a great wrestling, you know. I mean, it was too. But it just didn't really work because, like, Charlotte was going for the figure four, and mm-hmm. then Becky, like, wasn't in the right position, so she uh-huh. kind of just sat there and waited for her to... I guess. I didn't really notice it that much, to be honest. It, it was, it was like, ten seconds of mm. Becky just waiting for Charlotte to I gotcha. figure it out. I gotcha. It was pretty glaring, to me at the very least. Fair Although, enough. the match itself was good. Yeah, no. But I'm I saying, think it, yeah, it was in the beginning of the match, right? Or it was, was that towards, the towards the beginning, yes. Yeah, I think that they did have some rough patches yeah. there. Um, but, but anyway, all well, in all, it was, it was very yeah. good. So while we were on the topic of Randy Orton, mm-hmm. he was in the production truck on SmackDown with a friend, and he <laughs> wanted him to shake his hand. He was rubbing <laughs> his shoulders. Rubbing his shoulders. Ow, Randy, not again. <laughs> Don't make me do this. Yeah, they re- they clearly put the think title this whole on thing me. is a joke. They'll put the title on me next when yeah. I go to HR. Yep. 
Um, Clearly think this whole thing's a So, joke. yeah, we got to see some clips from the Hell in a Cell. Mm. Uh, but I think what, what was the, the main point of this is Randy was looking for his next opponent or something like He's that. He's not looking for he, one. He, knew, he knows who he it is. is. So who's it going to be? You have very limited faces you on do. SmackDown. You, you really got do. AJ, you got Daniel Bryan, and our truth uh, um, <laughs> I was going to say, it's not going to be AJ or Daniel Bryan, Ty obviously. Dillinger. Ty Dillinger. Tide could be. Because you got to think... Let me see your pretty face, boy. <laughs> You got to think it's got to be a face. Yeah. Um, and someone who's not actively doing anything right, right. now. Right. Um, and Ty Dillinger is like the <laughs> answer. No. It's him or our truth. It's not going to be either of them. Unless. Unless. I don't know. You turn Shelton Benjamin face. <laughs> Although, then you're kind of dealing with a hate crime. Well, first, you have to reintroduce Shelton Benjamin to TV. He was on so TV people, a few weeks ago. So people remember he who he is. had a match a few weeks ago. Who yeah, was it against? I don't remember. Exactly. I didn't say it was memorable. Probably it, against Jeff Hardy. It probably was. <laughs> um, unless you have them um, go against the Usos, just have them pick a tag team. <laughs> Two on one, yeah, I like this. All right. Yeah, it's I fine. like these odds. I, I, Randy is Orton this, versus a tag team is this makes the sense. Usos Penitentiary. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's scary. Yeah, yeah, no, it. There's really very limited people here. I guess the good thing is we don't have to think about it. That's true. We it's just have happen. to accept it. Yeah. <laughs> um. All right, uh, that the SmackDown opened with a special guest on Miz TV. Yeah, we all knew it was going to be Maurice. It definitely made sense. Yeah, but that's um, when we learned that she was going to be leaving for a couple weeks. Yeah. And that he, that no, was, no, no, no. She oh for for, for an extended, extended period, period of time. Right, right. Um, but then this turned into, but Daniel Bryan came out right. No, um, they the Miz didn't like the fact that uh, Maurice was getting booed. Oh, so, so he's like, I'll beat up Daniel Bryan if you're going to boo her. Mm-hmm. And then Daniel Bryan Frank comes out, out. That's and says, I want to fight you anyway. Yeah, so he mm-hmm. runs down to the ring. And they played the angle where Maurice gets knocked down and she's hurt mm-hmm. and then starts laughing in Daniel Bryan's face. Yep. And the Miz tries to get him, hit him with the skull crushing finale and he isn't able to do that. And then he gets shoved into Maurice and Maurice falls. Mm-hmm. And yeah. And then Daniel Bryan does the yes, yes thing. And mm-hmm. That's it. That's it. Yeah. Yeah, it made it. sense. Yeah, I mean, they're going to be spinning their wheels until we have the number one contenders match, which is in, what, two weeks, something like that? October 6th. Yeah, so a little Correct. over two weeks. Yeah. So. It's probably we, three. No, when is it? Well, Saturday? next week is the 25th. Well, it's, yeah, it's a Saturday, I think. Yeah, right? so it's two weeks. Yeah. Two, two SmackDowns. So it's not right. that. No, no, no. Not that long. Um, We had uh, Kofi Kingston versus Cesaro. Yeah, we're just building up to that match at... Super showdown. Mm-hmm. So I, I like the fact that the New Day was dressed up in safari. Oh, they're outfits. always entertaining. Yeah. There's nothing. Um, so when are we going to start building toward Evolution? You think that's just going to be a short build after the Super Showdown, or well, you got to remember, we already talked about the Raw Women's Title match. Hmm. We we know that's yeah. what their plan is because they can't do anything before that. I guess that's the best, true. That's the best happen. they can do is. Like tease something. Right. The May Young Classics, those will play out on TV. On their own. On their own, yep. The um, SmackDown women's title picture is only two it's, people. It's just gonna keep on dry. going. Um if they do have the Smack or the the women's tag team match, mm. they've already been establishing tag teams. Right, yeah. Um yeah, and, which they have a couple, honestly. I mean we saw the card that the leaked the, one. The leaked one, so which hopefully doesn't actually happen right. anywhere near what it says. You have Trish and um, Trish and Alexa announced. Mm-hmm. Hopefully that stays and Alexa's fine. Oh, yeah, fine. right, right. Um, and then you have, although if Alexa ends up getting hurt, they'll probably maybe just throw Trish in with the Mickey Lita, James Mickey and Lita James. match. Triple that would that. make sense. Yeah, whatever. Um, uh, hopefully they'll have some kind of multi-women's match. Yeah, they'll do some battle royal or something um, like that. Just, just for all the main roster people who don't have a purpose mm-hmm. to be there, um, and some NXT people, you're gonna have the NXT title match between Kyrie right. Sane and whoever. I think I don't know oh, if that was announced oh, yet. Shana again. Um, and then it was the UK Women's Championship. Which supposedly is, is it the finals of it, or I, have I don't. No I, don't idea. Yeah, I have not, not followed anything U- uh, UK I, NXT. I haven't at followed all. anything NXT really. Yeah. <laughs> so. Um, 
And was there any other, like, weird supposed matches? I know there was more. I can't oh, the think Asuka of the Asuka-Ember Moon one. That's not going to happen. Probably not. Um, if anything, Ember will win that multi-person match, and Asuka will be in the tag team thing. Mm -hmm. That would be my oh, guess. Oh, yeah, Asuka and Naomi. Yeah, Asuka and Naomi, uh, Sasha together. and Bailey. Right. The um, Riot Squad. The Riot Squad could be Sarah Logan and... Uh, uh, live live yep yeah, and have yeah, ruby, iconics iconics and then you can have ruby have like a normal match yeah oh actually you could have um sonia and uh mandy yeah that'd be cool if they do like some kind of like tornado not tornado tag like a uh, gauntlet match yeah. type thing with that that'd be interesting beat the clock challenge there we go that would be hard with yes. so many teams though yes nope that's what we're going for okay. it's gonna happen whatever okay. that's fine uh what was your purpose of your question you said when we're going to start building up evolution when we were talking about the tag team oh i was just thinking about it just for the simple fact that we've talked you're now talking about the saudi arabia show which oh is yeah, yeah in november yeah. and then the uh, yeah. because well, at what? a point you know evolution was number one focused it's the women's mm -hmm. thing everybody you know was a little excited about it and then it kind of just kind of pushed it off to the side there yeah, said, I, I don't, look at these crown jewels i don't know if that's 100 percent fair because one match was announced for it and it was only announced that's yesterday true but i mean Monday. you would think if it's such a groundbreaking thing like they made it out to be that it would be well there's going to be advertisements like during yeah. or on smackdown yeah. leading up to it right so it's not like they forgot about it yes um whatever man it's just hard to make a cohesive card no i know that but far in advance yeah i mean they have been putting pushing the women a little more We've yeah, seen more absolutely. women's segments, mm -hmm. yeah, so. The main that. event of SmackDown was Becky and Charlotte. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and then Raw, Ronda pretty much takes up a big slice of time every Monday. Yeah. So it's not like um, they haven't been doing stuff. Yeah, no, I, I guess that's true. So That's true. Um, I guess we'll talk about it. Finally happened. I guess, yeah. I mean, we kind of thought they were... That was a, only a matter of time. Yeah, I know, but they really pushed it off for a little while and then came back to it. Yeah. We're talking about the, I guess, Aiden English heel turn, mm -hmm. I guess. Yeah, he turned on Rusev. I mean, he was you know, going back and forth between heel and face, heel and face all yeah. the time, it seemed like. Well, it was he was doing it with Rusev, though. I guess now they've definitely made him, Rusev the, the face, yeah. which is good. So him and Lana can run off into the sunset. Yeah, so... Now, when you have smaller feuds like this, this isn't a match that's going to happen probably at the, the Super Showdown, you think? No, I think that card's done. Right. And then you have Evolution, and then you have the Saudi Arabia. This match will only take place on TV. Yeah, but these, I mean, is that feud? what we're actually going to do? We're actually going to play out lower, th you know, uh, storylines. Isn't that on... what we want to happen, though? Okay, yes, that's what we want to happen, but I said, are they going to? They don't have a choice in this case. Or they're just going to... We're just going to forget about it in, like, two weeks. That's possible. And Rusev will have another U.S. title match. Uh, yeah. Ooh, Bray Wyatt's on the cover of Ooh. this. And so is Carmella. Neither of which are featured on the card. That's true. Uh, I'm talking about the poster for sure. Super, Super Showdown. Showdown. Yeah, no, I know what you're talking about. I'm talking to them. Oh. I wasn't talking to you. You're talking to me. You're looking at the computer. <laughs> Whatever, man. Um. So, yeah, uh, I guess... Rusev and Aiden English were kind of talking about the what happened on Sunday where they did not defeat the New Day. Yeah, I thought Rusev said that Aiden English isn't was, allowed out with them. He, I thought he did say that as and well. And then he came out anyway. Yeah. Um, but yeah, they Rusev and Lana, you know, apparently left, and Aiden kind of went on a, a, a rant. Yeah, complaining that if you know. Because of him is the reason that Rusev Day got over, and he's, you know, the reason, so on and so forth. And Lana was standing there. <gasps> I can't believe you said that. Yeah. I'm not a fan of Lana. I don't know well, why. Her, her character's character terrible. Her right now is not good, because she's basically just cheerleader. There's no weight to her character. Yeah. So, th she's... She's been a lot better in the past, obviously. Right yeah, now, she's not doing anything. Because she's just a bystander for this feud with... Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's not it's not good. No. Um because it's not like it built up where Lana was telling Rusev that Aiden was doing all these things and Rusev didn't believe her mm -hmm. and you know, so on and so forth. Yeah. But no. 
<laughs> we got it was clear as day um, later on anyway. Yeah. Yeah, because Lana didn't even get a chance to tell Rusev anything. No, because Rusev kept going, no, 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 I have a match to prepare for. Yes, later. Later. So um, Aiden and Lana came out with Rusev in his match against Shinsuke for the U.S. title mm -hmm. for some reason. Yeah. We don't know who Shinsuke's next opponent is. However. It could be nobody. However. Remember I told you about Rey Mysterio? Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. Signed a two-year deal today. Oh, apparently. yeah. Apparently. That's I was gonna say, going to say, I remember now that you said that that's what they were waiting for. I think so. Um, it makes sense. Uh, but, yeah, no, I mean, they put on a good match. Uh, Aiden and Lana were outside kind of staring at each other. Well, they were yelling at each yeah. other. And Aiden was constantly trying to get Rusev, you know, or he's, chanting yeah, Rusev. He's trying right? to cheer him on. Cheer him on, on yes. And, and then, then grab the microphone. Yeah, and then what was it? Uh, Shinsuke was down, and I guess Rusev was going to go for the accolade, I well, guess. No, uh, Shinsuke went for the Kinshasa, um, but, but Rusev countered with the, with the kick. Machka kick, yeah. Um, and then Rusev was ready to do the accolade, yeah. and then Aiden and then English jumps him. on the apron and starts screaming, said, Get crush, him! Crush! Get him! What do you mean? And then he's like, what you do. He's like, get down. And Aiden's like, oh, I'm trying to help! Yep. And then mm -hmm. he's like, get down. Then Shinsuke hit a Kinshasa, right? And... Did he win the match? Did the match finish? Right? I don't remember. Or did he just attack him? Uh, the match might not have finished. I don't remember now. Yeah, I don't remember. Well, anyway, Aiden English hit Rusev. No, I guess the, the match did finish. Yeah, that's what I thought he had with the Kinshasa. He cost then... Rusev, Rusev yeah. the match, yeah. And after the match, Aiden English came in the ring with the microphone in so hand. He's beating so... him up with the microphone. Beat. Did Rusev have, like, a whole bunch of black marks on his forehead? Like, it looked like his head, forehead had some marks on it. Probably it was probably from, from the microphone. Yeah, because all the Rusev Day pieces fell off and were laying in the ring. Yeah. And then Lana was yelling at... Get Dude. out! Yeah. So, Get out! Um, they finally did it. Yeah. Uh, so is this the end of Rusev Day? No. It's the end of Aiden English singing for Rusev Day. Yeah, I don't know. You I can't end it's... Rusev Day. No, obviously you can. It's just going to fizzle out little by little. No. I think so. Mm. Yeah. Wrong. Nope. Whatever. It's it's lost some steam, obviously. Absolutely, but, but that's WWE killing it. Yeah. They they'll continue to wear the shirts and they'll continue to sell yeah. the shirts. But didn't they make like Aiden Day shirts or something like that? Or was that on the custom tees or something? That must shit have been like custom. That? I don't remember seeing yeah. that. That doesn't make any sense. Oh I agree, but you know. um uh, then we have Andrade Cien Almas versus AJ Styles. Yeah. Um, Andrade attacks before the match, mm -hmm. um, and AJ finds like, okay, I'm good. And then they start the match, and uh, AJ ends up winning. Yeah? Oh, it, you know, the beautiful Styles Clash. I mm -hmm. forget what he, he was in, like, oh, a was, pinning combination, cool. and he stood up. And he, did, he did, like, one of those, like, you jump over. I can't remember what they're called. Mm -hmm. Like, you jump over to, to pin him, and then he jumped back. And then he picked them up because the last time he went for the clash, Andrade like Count, uh, countered yeah. it. So I guess he was expecting him to not be ready. Um, then hit the Styles Clash and ended up winning. It was uh, it was very cool the way yeah, they did it. Good match as mm -hmm. usual. Um, obviously, Vince does see something in Andrade. He's mm -hmm. featured pretty much every week on SmackDown. He's just not allowed on pay per view. Well, you know that's <laughs> it's not a surprise. Rules. Think about how many people were honestly left off the pay per view most yes most yes so uh so yeah and then we uh, had uh oscar versus billy k um we didn't finish talking about the, oh right because uh, samoa joe the guy was looking for his late night wendy's and yeah. uh he had he attacked aj yeah. and then aj pretty much countered immediately and then joe mm -hmm. ran away like a little girl all right and then when was that was that during hell in a cell where Joe was met up with Paige, and they made the it was at, It was after the match. Yeah, it, it, it was at, at Hell in a Cell. Cell. Yeah, so their match at Super Showdown is now a no disqualification match. Mm -hmm. Falls count anywhere, no yes, DQ, yes, I right, think. Right. Uh, also, there's a little bit of controversy during that match. Oh, yeah. Where you had AJ pinning Joe while... AJ was tapping out. Yeah, so... It was, it was well done. Uh, if the camera angle is better, yeah, it's it would have been better. But at the same time, like, you know, you would think that if you are, um, like, getting pinned, you would stop that just in case the ref isn't paying attention. Because obviously the ref's attention so is... Pain. 
the ref's attention is on his shoulders. Right. So obviously he's not paying attention to, to what's the, going on on yeah, Samoa Joe's true. side. That's true. So that could have been portrayed. So like rock, paper, scissors, pinfall, beat, submission? <laughs> yeah. It's, in that sense. It just didn't make any yeah. sense. Especially considering that the first time it happened, we didn't see anything. No, 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 no. So, but no. whatever. Yeah, I mean, like you said, if the camera angle was better, it would have telegraphed. But yeah, 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 exactly. To the crowd, or mm-hmm. at least to the television audience. Which would make more sense to do. Yeah. So, because um, the, the, the announce team had no idea. Not a clue. Why should you celebrate? Yeah. And then, and then Corey Grace goes, yeah, I think I saw that. <laughs> <laughs> well that's just Corey. yeah um, but that was because joe came over and started mm-hmm, threatening yeah, him, so yeah, he's yeah. afraid that's right, right so yeah i think i saw that <laughs> um all right so now oscar versus Oscar's, billy Kay. yes and oscar and naomi were buddy buddy before the match mm-hmm. coming out and i think she came out to ringside for her right yeah yeah because the iconics were together mm-hmm I don't know. I fell asleep during this match. Ah, okay. All right. I purposely closed my eyes because I didn't care. Okay. That's Oscar fair. won. Not That's a surprise. Fair. No, I didn't need to know that. Yeah. Um, and then we had Becky's championship coronation. Yep. Uh, Paige came out and kind of uh, celebrated with her and uh, uh, um, Becky's title win f- mm. with her. Right. And Becky's like, I only need one person here, Charlotte. Charlotte. I want you to raise my hand. Mm-hmm. I want you to put the title around my waist. And that's when Charlotte attacks her, pretty much. Yeah, basically. And then Becky gets the best of her, mm-hmm. throws her back in the ring. As Charlotte's it. top was falling off, so I guess it ripped, and she constantly was covering herself. Yeah. Um, it's not a surprise. Not really. Um, and then Becky puts on the disarmor and mm-hmm. hits the Bexploder, and then she walks away, holds the title up, and uh, going to Super Showdown. Yeah. In two weeks. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and we had the Mixed Match Challenge back after it. We actually got two matches this time. Yeah. Um, definitely not as good as the first time. But I mean, I thought... they are fitting two matches in. Yeah. Um, into one. Um, so it's increasing the content amount, which is good. Because technically speaking, one 20-minute match is kind of... Well, they had more time to... Yeah. I think they were like 12 minutes, maybe. The yeah, match, about, about like that. that so. Yeah. Not to say that either of these matches mm-hmm. were bad. They just weren't as... No, I mean, the good. content was good. Like, they were messing around and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, you had Braun and Kevin Owens. Yeah. yeah it was fantastic. And uh, Owens got decimated outside the ring, which mm-hmm. was fantastic. Did, uh, Braun did another one of his... Uh... And he went for an extra lap, too, around the ring. <laughs> but that's when he got hit, super kicked. Yeah. So, uh, but yeah, it was good. Mm-hmm. It was good. So, we had... Um, Braun and Ember, obviously, moving on. Yes. Uh, Ember hit a uh, eclipse on top of Braun's sure. shoulders, yep. which was awesome. Um, and then you had Bobby... You knew that not was Bobby gonna Rude, uh, Charlotte and AJ going over Naomi and uh, Phenomenal Jimmy. flares. Yes. So that also was not a surprise. No. A uh, very good chance that these two teams meet in the finals. So. Probably. It really... Probably. Not that they faced each other tonight, but they probably... That would... That would be fun if they put the title on Braun at Super Showdown, not Super Showdown, at uh, Crown Jewels, and we got AJ versus Braun at Survivor Series. That'd be interesting. Yeah. So. Because, like, we saw Lesnar versus AJ last year, and, you know. That was good. That was a good match. It yeah. was Lesnar's best match in quite some time. Yeah, that's true. So. Um, I guess we could uh, we could say that, that would be a good, uh, yeah. a good but, thing. But, honestly, if they go that route... I'd be. I want to see Roman and AJ again. That'd be fine. Yeah, because they put on some good matches mm-hmm. when Roman was at his highest criticism. I guess when he was. Well, he was at his greenest. Yeah, I guess so. Because he yeah. wasn't quite ready to be the guy. Mm-hmm. So Just such a shame that Uso still had that stupid gimmick when they were with Roman. Yeah, that would have been cool. Missed opportunity. Yeah, but whatever. but you know when Fox gets SmackDown. You think Roman's going over? Um, no. I I think they're just gonna. Well, AJ might be leaving soon, right? Yeah, no, but I mean, just for the Usos and Roman to team up. No, I think that if they're gonna do that, they could just have the Usos go to Raw. Yeah, I guess so. No, but my point is, I think that they're gonna keep Roman on Raw and then find another guy for SmackDown. Okay. I don't know who it could be. Yeah. Because it wouldn't make any sense for it to be Braun. No. 
Unless they make John Cena come back for a while. I don't know. It's still a year away. No, I'm just saying yeah. that they could do that. No, I don't mean like now and I got gotcha, you. I got gotcha. you. Like when they. Well, because that is going to be the main focus, you would assume, yeah. right? So I don't know. If, maybe they bring Ro- Bro- Roman. Uh, Roman <laughs> over there. Roman. Um, Roman brings. But I, I feel like it's going to be someone else and they'll keep Roman for Raw. Uh... I don't know. Maybe. It would be Kenny I, Omega. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. <laughs> but we'll see. Yep. Maybe Cody Rhodes. No. Kenny Omega. No. They, they'll try. It's oh, not going to happen. Yeah, you never know. So. But. But yeah, that yeah. was. Uh, we've we've rambled on enough, I think, for tonight. Yeah, it was four shows worth of uh, of talking. Talkings, and then do we say that two hundred five live got met, uh, moved to Wednesday night? I think we did. Uh, we mentioned it. Yeah. I think I it was said. I don't remember was. if we it were might recording have when we yeah, said it. I don't remember. Um, so yeah, so now they want three hours or you to watch three hours of uh, wrestling now on Wednesday night for this time being. Anyway, you have. NXT, the Mae Young Classic, and 205 Live. Yeah, but they're not one long, long show. Yeah. It's all individual things that you can watch at any yeah, point in time. Remember when the uh, cruiser rates were supposed to take up an hour over a... Yeah. That's... <laughs> Fucking JBL. Uh, all right. Yep. Well, that was episode 13 of our podcast. Yes. If you liked what you saw here, please like, share, and subscribe. Bye. Bye.